My name is Jen Hall. I'm uh, one of the members of Young Americans for Liberty at UNH. Um, it's a libertarian organization on campus uh, that offers a third party perspective. Um, we're not the College Republicans, we're not the College Democrats. Uh, we're kind of an alternate political platform that falls between the two. Um, and we're trying to establish ourselves, especially with the upcoming primary. So we advocate for smaller government where people are able to make decisions and markets are able to find solutions because um, the few that are employed to represent us aren't able to really represent all of the uh, millions of perspectives that exist in the United States. <laughs> Libertarianism is kind of a, uh, it's like classical liberalism and fiscal conservatism at the same time. It's really interesting. Um, it's essentially freedom in all aspects. So I like to explain it, when you think of Republicans, you think of economic freedom and social mandates. And when you think of Democrats, you think of social freedom and economic regulations. So the Libertarian Party kind of fits right between the two, where there's complete economic freedom as well as complete social freedom for the people. Government is, is, is full of people who are run by the banks. That's President Obama. That's a lot of members of Congress. That's people who take the, the, the donations given to them and are to turn them for political favors. That's a fault of our are ignoble politicians, not a fault of Washington, not, not a fault of Wall Street, not a fault of the marketplace, not a fault of all of us because capitalism helps us all. So New Hampshire is really interesting because it is the live free or die state, so a lot of liberty minded people really seek the state um, as a, a, a place to live free and have you know that, that space. Um, there's a really cool project that's been started, um, it's called the Free State Project, it's about I think four or five years old now. And they have this goal of moving uh, 20,000 people from all across the country into one state, the freest state. Um, so they had a vote when the project started as to what state they wanted to be, and New Hampshire won by a landslide. So the New Hampshire primary is really cool. It's the first primary uh, in the country, and it, it's kind of a launching point for candidates to get into the country, um, you know, to get the name recognition, to get the support, especially if they get New Hampshire and Iowa, then they're ready to go and, and take on the country. Um, so there's a lot of, of candidates that have really come over here and set land and really hoping to take New Hampshire as like the first plug going into it. So it's a really exciting time to be part of that um, in the state because we're such a small space that any time a rep or you know a possible elect comes into the state, we hear about it and we have a chance to meet everyone, which is not something that most states you know really even get a chance to do. It's really a treat for us and. You know, we get reps coming out all the time just to shake hands in New Hampshire just because they want that support. So it's, it's really exciting and a really fun space to kind of play in and figure out who the good guys are. And the only Liberty-like Republicans that really exist right now are Ron Paul, um, who's a representative from Texas, and gov uh, previous Governor Gary Johnson, who was a governor in New Mexico. So if you think that the Constitution needs to be returned to, and if you think that civil liberties are really important, if you like peace and hate the fact that we're spending trillions of dollars going to war, you like low taxes and small government, Young Americans for Liberty is definitely an organization that you need to check out at UNH.